Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In today's video, I'm using the Lazy Susan and doing some swiping and some flicking and a couple of ribbons, which I actually filled with uh, dirty swirls. And it worked out really well. I'm pretty excited about the results and I'm definitely gonna give it another go on a bigger canvas. Um, this canvas was actually used in a previous video, but the painting wasn't exactly um, popular in the household. So I took the canvas off and restretched it and um, yeah, doing another painting. This shape was actually pretty interesting. I mounted it diagonally on the Lazy Susan and when I spun it, uh, the paint really didn't spread out as much as I thought it would. It just kind of flew off the ends. So it's definitely interesting. That last lesson that I learned um, before this one uh, really, um, you know, hit home. So I'm going to do a lot of playing with uh, how I'm mounting the canvas on the Lazy Susan. Um, hey. Sorry that you can see that flick there. My giant head was in the way. Um, I completely forgot that, you know, I kind of needed to keep my head out of the way while I'm doing the painting. So, sorry that you missed that. Um, so, I was pretty excited about the flick. I mean, it, the flicks are never what I expect. Um, but it turned out pretty cool. But I was unhappy with the ribbons on the sides just because they, it wasn't really doing anything. I mean, the, the paint was literally just shooting right off the end and not spreading out. So, um, usually I have the opposite problem, actually. Anyways, I thought it was a great time to try this dirty swirl into the tray. Um... Sorry, I live on a really busy street and it's kind of a rush hour time right now. Uh, yeah, so this dirty swirl into the tray it turned out to be wildly successful. Um, in my viewpoint, anyways. I just wish that I had um, just moved a little slower on this first pass with the first ribbon. Um, as you can see, I just moved a little too quickly there. That tray is actually just a styrofoam tray that I found from some vegetables that I had. Yeah, so if I had moved a little slower with that pour, um, I wouldn't have had that bare spot and it would. I think it just would have turned out a little bit better. So I had to fill in that one spot with black and I was ready to use the rest of the cup on the other side. However, when I was pouring out the paint into the tray, I found it to be a little too dark for my liking. Um, I just wanted to make it a little bit lighter. And so I mixed up another dirty cup and I was about to pour it in and I realized there was so much black in there. So I had to clean out the tray and then I was ready to go. There was a huge chunk that was edited out of that in case you're wondering how I cleaned that tray so quickly. Um, <laughs> So I really, I really like this look that these um, dirty cup swirl things um, make. And I love the control that I got um, with pouring it into the tray and then using that to put it on the canvas. I just thought that it, it worked out really well. I mean, I'm sure other people have tried it, but yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled to pieces that I've figured this one out. Um, just because I think that it's gonna be a lot of fun playing with it. Anyways, so at this point, I was just uh, making sure that the white was as smooth as it could get. I mean, it flattens out really well as it dries, but I was just, you know, double checking because I really like the look of this painting. Um, so yeah, here's a close up. I think that it really looks like a universe or something on the sides and like maybe the center of the universe in the middle or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so I hope you like it. Um, if you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.